Hey guys, welcome back to Millennial Ships, your place for self-care and relationship advice. And today we're going to be talking about your identity and how you should get rid of it. <laughs> So guys, before we get started, I just want to send a friendly reminder to hit that like button if you guys like the video and you find it helpful, and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos and more content. My channel is super small, so any help goes a long way. So today we're going to be talking about your identity and how I think it's kind of pointless <laughs> and you should just kind of get rid of the notion of an identity because it really just comes back to hurt you and it's not really very helpful. So what I mean by that is your identity is like what you are, like who you are as a person, like I am this. And there are very few things in your life that are actually constant um, for your entire life that actually really do make up your identity. So for example, let's say like maybe the color of your skin, you know, that stays pretty consistent for your whole life. Um, your height, like once you're an adult, that stays pretty consistent for your whole life. So those, there are a few things that kind of are part of your identity, but everything else, it just kind of moves like this. Like your identity is constantly changing and it's actually really bad to start, um, associating who you are are with certain things. For example, let's use something that might actually be like a good, a good thing. So let's say like, I am a good mother, right? So if you start saying to yourself, okay, I am a good mother. Um, and then you maybe like, let's say you forget to pick up the new thing of diapers. And so now you're at home and the baby doesn't have any diapers. So in your head, now you're going to have like an identity struggle. You're going to be going like, well, I didn't pick up the diapers, like a good mother wouldn't do that. So am I a good mother? I guess maybe I'm not. And then what's that going to lead to? It's going to lead to, oh, well then maybe I'm a bad mother, right? And so now all of a sudden this thing just became super destructive and it just didn't need to get that way. It didn't need to go that far. Um, instead, it would be so much better just to say like, I try to be the best mother I can be, or I am the best mother that I can be. If you say that stuff to you, then it's like, well, if you forget the diapers here or there, well, it doesn't really matter. You're still the best mother that you can be. You're still trying the best that you can and you're doing the best that you can. And so now all of a sudden this is a good thing and it doesn't really matter that you just forgot one little thing. Um, so this is super important, especially when it comes to like negative stuff too. Like if you say like, oh, um, I'm an anxious person, like I'm just an anxious person. It's like, well, you know, maybe you're not an anxious person. Maybe you have anxiety or maybe you have anxious thoughts. Maybe you have um, chronic an anxious thoughts, but you're not an anxious person. Don't ever say that. Don't start saying, don't start molding these things with your actual who, like personality and identity. Because as soon as you start doing that, it's just a breeding ground for things to get really destructive because you're, you're holding yourself up to something that just isn't really true. People change all the time. You could say, oh, I used to have really, really bad anxiety, but now I don't. So why would you ever say I'm an anxious person? You're just not an anxious person. You just have anxiety. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there for you guys, just to give you another perspective on how dangerous it can actually be to start calling yourself certain things, whether they're good or bad. It's just so much better to say, to separate yourself from all those things so that you can pick and choose who you want to be and what you want to do in your life. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a like if you found it helpful. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos and I'll see you on the next one.